Okay, welcome back to the Cozy Fox. For this pattern today, we are gonna be working on the Cotton Soap Saver. This is actually my most popular item in my Etsy shop. People are always asking me for this pattern and I tell them no, but tonight I am sharing it. Um, the reason this is so special is because it perfectly fits the perfectly posh chunk, which is a huge bar of soap. So this is pretty much the biggest out there. It'll fit this or anything smaller. Ooh, drop it. See, it's huge, you gotta be careful. Um, so for this pattern, you will need some cotton. I prefer the Lily Sugar and Cream, I think I said that right, yarn. Um, it's got just enough exfoliating to it, not too soft. And then the H8 crochet hook, and then scissors and needle, of course. And you are set to start this pattern. All right, so I've already got my yarn, I've already got my slips, uh, slip knot done. You're gonna go ahead and start with a chain eight. We are gonna start working the bottom of the soap saver first. So chain eight. Seven and eight. And in the second chain from the hook, you're going to start with two single crochets. So you insert your hook, two single crochets. You might have noticed that it's daylight this time instead of actually dark out, which means my kids are still up. So if you hear them, no big deal. We all got to deal with it, right? Okay, so two into that first one. Cotton is sometimes harder to work with, so you might see me redoing a couple of my stitches when I accidentally get in between. And then you're going to do one into the next one, two, three, four, into the next five single crochet or chains. You're going to work one single crochet. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now into this last chain, you're going to be working three single crochets and you're going to kind of work over your tail just so it gets tucked in now. If you want to um, tuck it in at the end with your needle, that's fine. I just like to get it done with. So I'm working three single crochets into that last chain. And what that does is it turns your work. So now I'm working along the bottom of those chains that I just made. So I'm going to do five, one into the next five stitches, one single crochet, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five. Now into this last one, I'm just going to work one because I already worked the two when I did that first when I worked that first chain into that first chain so just one single crochet and don't join you can mark your stitch if you want you don't really need to but we're gonna work another round around but without joining so into this very first single crochet that we already did I'm gonna work two single crochets so we're working this increase just so it stays even looking to make that oval. So I've got two into that first single crochet and I'm going to work two into the next one as well. Okay, now you're going to work one single crochet into the next five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now the next three stitches, you're going to be working two single crochets into each one for another increase around that corner. So two into the first, two into the second, two into the third. Okay, now the next five stitches, you're going to do just one single crochet into each. So one, 
two, three, four, five. And now we're on that last stitch from the last row and we'll work two single crochets. One, two. So last time we didn't join, this is our first stitch. We are going to join this time, but you're going to join into the back loop only of that stitch. And you just join with a slip stitch, chain one, and we are going to go ahead and work a bobble stitch into this one. If you want to chain two, go ahead. I just like to chain one. It's the way I do it. Um, so you do yarn over, you insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then you just do that again, pull through two, until you have five loops on your hook. So four and five. So then I yarn over and I pull through all five and just make sure you keep that bobble facing outwards. And then in the next stitch, working back loop only again, you're gonna work a half double crochet. And you'll alternate bobble, half double, bobble, half double in the back loop only all the way around. So go ahead and finish this row, which will be this row. And then I will meet you at the join where we will work our next row. All right, now that you've finished this row, you should have 11 bobbles total and you should end on a half double crochet so that it keeps that every other. So you're going to join into the top of the bobble stitch with a slip stitch. Get it through both loops there. And from now on, you will be working through both loops. It's just the bottom that you work through the back loop only, so you get that nice little ring there. So you join with your slip stitch, chain one, and now you are going to half double crochet around into each bobble stitch and each half double crochet. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern of, half, of bobble, half double, bobble, half double, until you have one, two, three, four, five rows of bobble. And then you will work that last row of half double crochets, but do not join on that last row, on that fifth row. Um, I will come back and I'll show you how we finish off the top of this to make sure you've got your little loop there and your hanging loop there. So as I said, go ahead and work a half double crochet into every stitch around. Make sure you're counting your rows so you're not missing, or your stitches of each row so you're not missing any. And you want five total rows of each of the bobble and the half double crochet only. So I'll meet you at the end of this. Okay, so I finished my final row of half double crochets and before you join, you want to do a chain three. So one, two, three, and then you're just going to join to that first half double crochet with a slip stitch and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next 10 half double crochets. So it'll be 11 total if you count your join. So we'll do those together. That was my first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now here you're going to chain 25 to 30. It really just depends on how long you want your um, string to be, but I usually do 30. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Anyone else relaxed by counting? Counting relaxes me. I think that's why I like crochet. So now into the 12th half double crochet, you will make a slip stitch and you are going to continue slip stitching all the way around to the beginning. So that means 11 more slip stitches total. 
and your last slip stitch will be in the last half double crochet and then you will uh, fasten off and weave in your ends and then you will be done and you will have your soap saver so it's as simple as that my only request if you are making these uh, make as many as you want sell as many as you want but please just refer people to my pattern so if they're interested in making it they come to me to do it um, cozy fox is my channel but i also am on instagram and facebook as katie's cozies and i'll make sure in the description to tag myself in those so that you can know how to tag the pictures plus i want to see how yours turn out and all that fun stuff all right so thanks for joining me tonight and i hope you have fun making this and make lots of them and make lots of money off of them until next week happy hooking